Alright guys, today is going to be a big video. I have um, some greens here. I have some ground turkey, some carrots, Swiss char. I'm going to make a chili, okay? So in the Instant Pot, so uh, it'll be something uh, different for you guys to watch. Uh, here is baby arugula. All of this is going in the Instant Pot, okay? So I got some stewed tomatoes, chickpeas, uh, some corn. So I'm going to make a chili um, and uh, it's going to hopefully turn out pretty good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first saute the... Uh, oh, I also have an onion. Um, it's in the back, you guys can't see it, but there's going to, I'm going to saute the onions first uh, with the saute function on the Instant Pot. Get a nice caramelization, add the ground turkey, then we're going to add, um, add the, the vegetables and everything, and then and these things right there, cook it down, add some water to it, and then add some herbs and spices, and then hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. So uh, stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, so here's the Instant Pot. I got the onions in there. Uh, I'm gonna saute them uh, and then uh, get them caramelized and then put the ground turkey in, so just stay tuned. All right, so it, the onions are almost ready, um, and uh, you wanna keep seasoning as we keep adding layers to it, okay? So what am I seasoning? I have some fennel seeds, oregano, things like that that I'll be putting in, um, and some cumin, so it'll all turn out pretty good, so just stay tuned. I'll put some white pepper in as well, so be right back. Alright, so the ground turkey is in there, so I'm going to mix it all now, uh, get it nice and seasoned with some fennel, uh, some cumin, all that stuff, so I'll be right back. Alright, so the turkey is now all cooked down, as you can see, uh, I also seasoned it uh, with some cumin, so we're going to add in the carrots next, and then um, get them a little bit more tender, and then put in the tomatoes, the chickpeas, the corn, uh, the Swiss char is going to go in as well uh, a little bit later after I get it cleaned up and cut up. So, uh, all right, so the carrots are in, the Swiss char is all cut up and washed and uh, it's in there. Uh, so I'm going to let it cook down now and then uh, throw in the other stuff and uh, we'll be, it'll be a nice hearty stew. So just uh, be right so back. The, uh, so the Swiss char has been cooked down. The, I put some organic grill super greens in there and I put some arugula. So let's, uh, now it's next for the uh, chickpeas and diced tomatoes and corn. Be right back. Now this is the chickpeas that come in from the can. Uh, so you always want to rinse them, see how goopy they are? Always rinse that off, all right? I'll be right back. All right, so it's all in there. As you can see, you got the chickpeas, you got all that stuff. The tomatoes are in there. Now we're gonna stew them for a bit and then uh, hit the button right here. There is a button that says chili. So, and then uh, we'll cook it up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna season it up again with a little bit more flavoring, uh, some black pepper, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so I added more arugula on top. Now it's ready to be uh, to be sealed and hitting the uh, Instant Pot uh, chili button. All right, so I'll be right back. Probably take about 20 minutes. All right, guys, so here it is all done. Let's open this up. There we go. There is the chili. Oh, look at that. It is cooked. So uh, if you don't like it so watery, what you can do is uh, you can just keep sauteing it uh, and the saute function to make it uh, less um, less watery. But let's do a quick taste test. As you can see, there's chock full of veggies in there and it's like a nice soup. Taste-wise, it's really good. Tastes like a nice flavorful stew. Um, so it's definitely not your typical chili. I didn't add any hot, anything spicy in there. So it's just like a nice little stew. Uh, definitely check it out, guys. If you have any questions, comments, post them below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.